And before I start, I should say that they haven't actually set sail yet. They're building the ships. No That's less. correct. This was just announced yesterday. You heard it first on Bloomberg and the ships will begin to set sail in 2019. Tell us about these ships. They're going to be Ritz-Carlton ships, so they're going to be different. Yes, and we call them the anti-cruise ship because actually what Ritz-Carlton is doing is quite different than any other product that I think is on the market right now. Um, they're building large yachts. They're 300 passenger ships, which is, there are a couple of competitors on the market, but Ritz is really building these ships with totally different design. They're not the traditional fusty, old world, traditional buffet casino vessels that you associate with the cruising industry. Why do they need to do this? Is, is it, are the margins that great that it's worth building several ships and putting on cruises? We've heard how difficult it is to, to do cruise holidays recently with all of the scandals you know, on, on board the various Absolutely. cruises. Absolutely. And a lot of those scandals have actually plagued the more mass consumer side of the industry. But for Ritz-Carlton, this seemed like a no-brainer. Because they're associated with Marriott, they actually have a really robust loyalty program that tells them a lot about all the guests and all their loyal guests in particular that stay with them. And they learned that about 400,000 of their guests were really interested in cruising if they weren't already cruisers. So with that in mind, they said, a small ship, we only need 12,000 people a year to keep that entire vessel occupied. And the exciting thing is, is it's not going to be your typical cruise ship. So for example, part of the design is that it's open plan, a lot more open layout. Tell us more. Yeah, so this is more of a floating hotel than anything I've ever seen before. The Ritz-Carlton design playbook has all of these specifications for their hotels, things like double vanities in the bathrooms or, you know, terraces and big writing desks. That doesn't happen on cruise ships, but it will here. We're out of time, Nikki, but how much? We don't know yet. Bookings open in May and we'll find out, but my guess is about 5,000 for Caribbean sailings and about 10,000 in Europe, given the price of competitors, but we'll see.